Tech by Tips. Uh, today we're gonna focus on a problem that I had that I've noticed on the internet that a lot of people also have had, which is let's say you have a uh, a Mac and uh, your hard drive for some reason um, broke down. You needed to replace a drive. But when you put the new drive, you don't have an operating system, right? On some machines, it's easy. You just connect it to the internet and it'll work. It'll download it from the internet and put it on the hard drive. But I had an old MacBook. Uh, it was a MacBook uh, 2009, one of those white ones. And uh, that doesn't uh, have the ability to go into the internet and download the operating system for it. So I had to create a bootable installer for Mac OS. And I found this article from Apple that tells you, you know, how to use a uh, create uh, install media tool that comes with the uh, OS X um, application that you download from the App Store to create a USB and then boot from that. But I found a problem. I followed these instructions, right? I wanted to install El Capitan on that old uh, MacBook. And everything looked good, right? I, I was able to create the USB drive and I put it in the machine and it seemed like it was going to boot from it so I, I was going to be able to install but then all of a sudden I found this other problem which is the computer was giving me this weird um, not allowed symbol, right? And it wouldn't boot. Like it started, I would see the Apple logo, the, the bar was going up and then boom, this and there was no way to to go through the installation, right? So this drove me crazy for a bit, but then I found uh, a way to actually fix this problem. Apparently the creation tool um, does something weird with the uh, partition of the USB drive that you you know, set as the installer, where when it tries to load, it's not loading correctly. So we fortunately have another way to actually create a, a USB drive to install uh, an operating system so I'm gonna use another version of Mac OS to go through the process so you can see and you can repeat it with with uh, whichever uh, version of Mac OS that you want to use for your Mac right so the good thing is here we have a URL from Apple where we can actually download the um, the files that are necessary to uh, get that install OS 10 whichever version app that normally you get in the App Store. So it's accessible here in support.apple.com slash in my case English US and then slash HT211683 and it gives you a, a list of uh, operating systems that you can download and uh, from there uh, you just download it. Let's follow through with, for example, El Capitan. So uh, to download it, uh, you can just hover over here for a bit, right click, copy that link, and then paste and go, which will give you the prompt to uh, download that DMG file. I don't need to do that because I already downloaded it. So uh, we'll, we'll continue from here. So I already have the El Capitan DMG file here. So we're going to use uh, 7-zip to look inside that image and extract some files that we need. We're also going to use TransMac uh, and Paragon Hard Disk Manager, both applications you can download from their websites. These are portables for, you know, the sake of making the video. But um, if I'm not mistaken, Paragon has a community edition and TransMac gives you like a 15 day trial, I think. So you can download that and use it. Uh, but first, the first thing we're going to do is we need to extract the files that we need from that image that was provided to us by um, Apple. So we right click this, we need to use 7-zip and we click open archive. Now we see the inside of that image and we're going to follow the following steps to grab the files that we need. In install OS 10, we right click and we open. Then we look for the install Mac OS 10 package. We right click and we open inside with asterisk. Then we see the install macOS 10 package folder. We right click and open. And then 
we see that we have an install ESD DMG uh, file. We right click on that, we click open, and here's our first data that we need to extract. OS 10 install ESD, that needs to go into our downloads folder, so we right click it and select copy to. Then we make sure we select our downloads folder here to copy there, and we click OK. That's going to extract that folder into our downloads folder on our computer. We're using Windows for this process, right? Because our Mac process failed for us. And upon extracting here, we'll have all the contents of this folder outside in here. Okay, so as we can see, everything that was in there, it's now here. And now we still need to go inside this folder. So we open it. We see a base system DMG file. We right click on it and we open. Then OS 10 base system, we right click and open. And then we look for the install OS 10 El Capitan app. That's the app that normally gets dumped into our applications folder in our Mac operating system. So it's basically like if we had it in our Mac uh, applications folder. We right click in there, we go open to see the contents. We have the contents folder, we open that too. And we see the resources folder and we right click and open. In here we need to copy the install assistant icons um, file. So we right click and then copy to our downloads. And now we have both things that we need, which is this folder OS 10 install ESD and the icons folder that we grabbed from there. So we're done with 7, uh, 7-zip, uh, so we can X out of here. Now to prepare our pen drive, our USB drive, uh, first of all, I do have the 8 gigabyte pen drive in here. So, but I want to make sure that uh, that drive is just blank. So I'm going to go and uh, open the partition manager for Windows, the disk management uh, application. I'm going to go down into that drive and I'm going to make sure that I format that as a Windows uh, drive. Quick format, OK. That's it. Now we know we have a FAT32 pen drive, which is the, u the, the usual for flash drives. And now we are going to open the uh, Transmac app. We're going to refresh the drive list. We're going to make sure that the settings say that we're preserving file dates and showing hidden files. And here's a disk. As we can see, it, it's not a Mac volume, so it gives us this error. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use those files that we retrieved from the image of the operating system. And we're going to burn this image, this base image, uh, system image, into the drive. So we right click on the drive, we select restore with disk image. Mm, hold on, this is not reading the drive. Let me unplug it and plug it back again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now the drive is recognized. So right click, restore with image. It tells us that uh, the contents of the drive are gonna be lost. We say yes. Then it prompts us for the image that we want to use to restore. So we go into the downloads folder, into our OS 10 install ESD, and we look for the base system image. We click open. And we say, OK, it tells us, are we sure we want to do this? We say yes. And it's going to take a pretty good amount of time to uh, put all the contents of that base system image into the flash drive. So we just wait a little bit. OK, the restore was completed. So now uh, we refresh the drive. 
the drive should show up as uh, containing the information that was in that um, image that we use. Uh, and here's a tricky part that causes the error when we use the um, Apple recommended way. You see that the drive created a new partition, but it doesn't cover the whole space on the on the pen drive. In this case, we have an eight gig pen drive and it only used less than two and the rest is unallocated. So this somehow breaks the process um, when the machine tries to boot. So what we have to do here is we go into Paragon and we make sure that we extend this partition all the way to occupy all the size of the drive. So now it has been extended and we can see that it takes the whole drive uh, for El Capitan an 8 gigabyte drive was enough but for others you probably need a 16 gig drive and uh, so another thing we want to do here is maybe rename this change the name from OS 10 base system to install El Capitan or something similar so now it changes the label Okay, so now it says install a Capitan. Um, so we're done with Paragon, but there are other things that we still need to need to do. So let's go back into Transmac, refresh the drive list, and we can click on here and we'll see install a Capitan here. But we have some issues with this structure that we need to fix, right? Uh, the first thing is uh, there are some files that we need to put in here. So to do that, we're going to right click on the empty space here and say copy here. And we're going to look for our downloads folder, OS 10 install ESD. And we're going to take the chunk list file and the DMG for base system. And we need that to be in here. So we select it and it's going to import it from our downloads folder into the USB drive. It's going to, this is going to take a a little bit of time so we're gonna wait until that's done and come back later almost there Okay, additionally, we need to upload another file. So we're gonna do again, right click copy, and we're going to look for uh, the downloads install assistant icons file that we got. But this one, we have to rename it. So we're gonna right click on it. We click rename, and then we're gonna name it dot volume icons. Icon, not icons. Dot volume icon. Dot icons. So now we have the dot volume icon. Dot icons uh, folder. I mean uh, file. And then we have our base system DMG and our base system chunk list file. So now we have all those three in here. But we have something else that we need to do. So we need to go inside the system folder installation then there's the packages shortcut here that we need to actually remove so right click and delete and we need to yes actually put the packages not not uh, a link so we do copy here we're gonna go into install esd and we grab this packages folder and copy that's also gonna take some time so Let's wait a little bit for that to continue and then we'll be back.
All right, we're down to the last bit of copying. Almost there. And there we are. We have copied the packages folder that has all the information in there instead of just a link. And we have in our root put the volume icon dot icons, the base system chunk list, and the base system DMG. Now our USB drive is ready to be used uh, to install the operating system in the machine. So we can X out of here. Now we no longer need those files here, so we can clear this up and we should be able to go ahead and test it in our machine. Okay, now we put the pen drive into the laptop. This is an old model, like I mentioned before. It's a 20, I mean, 2009 uh, mid-white MacBook. So what we do is we press the um, power button and immediately hold the option button until we get the options to boot. And as you can see, we now have our uh, installer here, which is this one that says OS, base, OS 10 base system. Uh, we already have the system installed before, but if we run this, we should be able to get our um, installer. So just to validate that we're able to run the installer now and it doesn't give us that weird um, not allowed symbol, we're going to run that. putting from the pen drive, as you can see. And anytime now, it should uh, load the OS X installer. But this point is where we would be getting that uh, not allowed symbol before. But as we can see, it is actually going strong and loading. And there we go. It seems to have loaded. And here we go. We have the OS X. Uh, Installer working for uh, El Capitan. So there you go. If you were getting that weird not allowed symbol, this is how you fix it and how you get your Mac back up and running. Tips.